Today, in the world of cannabis, a woman in Florida tries to sesh with a cop. A well-known Canadian cannabis company stuns the market with a big announcement, and one prime minister lets us know that she's not like a regular world leader, she's a cool world leader. It's Tuesday, October 6th, and this is your Tricomes Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricomes.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, in today's episode of What the Florida? A woman in Sumter County was arrested recently for trying to sesh with a police officer. This, according to Fox 35 Orlando. 50-year-old Constance Polk was spotted sitting inside of her car on a sunny Sunday morning when an officer approached her to conduct a well-being check. During the check, the officer noticed that she had cannabis in her possession. When asked about it, Polk told the officer that although she didn't currently have a medical cannabis license, she does want to get one. According to her arrest affidavit, it was then that she also asked the officer if they would be interested in lighting some of it up with her. It was then that the Sumter County police officer arrested Polk. And next, in a report by Global Newswire, Canadian licensed cannabis producer Aurora Cannabis announced that the company anticipates recording both $1.8 billion in goodwill impairment charges in the fourth quarter of 2020 and about $140 million in inventory charges. In addition, Aurora announced the naming of a new CEO. According to the lawsuit, Aurora, headquartered in Edmonton, has been accused of federal security law violations, including misleading investors regarding prior accusation values and asset degradation. Aurora's stock fell 11.6% in one day following the news. Since May 2020, Aurora's stock has nearly dropped 74%. The lawsuit states that Aurora's news comes as a shock since the company recently hailed its business transformation plan that would allow better alignment for the business financially with the current realities of the cannabis market. Investors who have purchased Aurora shares between February 13th and September 4th, 2020, are invited to contact Block in Levington for more information. Last up, during a recent political debate, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern decided to let viewers know that she's not like a regular world leader, she's a cool world leader. Yes, I did. A long time ago, Prime Minister Ardern said when asked if she had ever used cannabis by the debate moderator. Her response was met with applause by the debate audience. It is worth noting that when later asked whether or not she supported cannabis legalization, a topic on the ballot during the country's election scheduled for October 17th, Ardern declined to answer. The New York Times reported that when it came to Ardern's comments on past cannabis use, New Zealanders seemed to hardly bat an eye. Independent studies indicate that approximately 80% of New Zealanders have tried cannabis at least once. Most people will have just smiled to themselves as most have had a puff, said Peter Williamson, 67, a Methodist minister in South Auckland. I'm probably one of the few people who's never actually had the opportunity. And that was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, The High Ground, or Careers in Cannabis, wherever you get your podcasts. For Tricombs.com, I'm RJ Balde. And I'm Devin Liao. It's a great day to have a great day.